Hi everybody, Dave Moorhead here with another quick finale tip. Today I'd like to show you a few shortcuts that really help speed up your workflow and it involves copying and the edit filter. So let's say I just want to copy the chords from the alto to the tenor and I don't want to copy the notes. So we're going to select the notes on the alto line by going to the selection tool, clicking shift and then clicking on the last measure and that selects the region. Now by default, Finale will copy everything, the notes and the chords, and that's not what I want. So I'm going to show you how to change that. So let's get rid of that. So what we want to do is we want to make our selection again and then right click on the blue area and then go to Edit Filter. And by default, Finale has everything checked here. Okay, so it's going to copy everything down to the next line, and that's not what I want. What I want to do is I only want to copy the chords. So we have to just only select this. So how do we do that? So I'll show you a little shortcut here. When you hold down alt, the Alt key and you push the Alt key, notice how Finale underlines the shortcut keys. And it underlines them down here too. So what we want to do is I want to push N for none. And that gets rid of everything. And then what I want to do is push F for chords. And now it's Finale will only copy the chords to that next line. Okay, so let's click N for none again to clear this. Let's say I want to copy everything under this markings heading. So all I have to do is push M and then it selects everything underneath there. And any, if I want to select everything under the text menu, I just push E. And then to shut it off, you just toggle it by pushing E again and push M again for markings. So you see it's very easy to quickly select a lot of things. And I use chords just to copy chords all the time. So I've learned that uh, if, if I've got everything checked, I just click N for none, and then I push F for chords, and then I click OK, or you can push Enter. Now, Finale is only going to copy the chords down to the very part. And that's a lot, lot better than going through the menu each time. So another thing I'd like to show you is that I'm constantly going between transpose score and concert score. And you can go through the menus, transpose, you know, you, you can constantly go through the menus if you want to do that, uh, displaying concert pitch, displaying concert pitch. So if you can shut that, but I don't like going through the menus each time. So what I've done is I've memorized the shortcut key for that as well. So hold down the alt key and then finale underlines the shortcut keys up here at the top. Notice how O under the document menu has been selected as the shortcut key. So then I push O and then I, see how that's underlined there? Display in concert pitch. I click that and then I get in concert pitch. And then anytime I want to go back and forth, all I have to do is quickly hold down the Alt key and go Alt O I, Alt O I. So you can go that quickly without ever going through the menu. So these are just a few things that really you're going to probably use every day. So it's best to memorize these shortcut keys. And then, I'll, of course, you know, you're going to have to adapt this to your workflow. If there's certain things that you're always copying, then you just memorize the shortcut keys that you need. So if you found this useful, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks.